SMB is really divided in a couple of different areas. There are things like restaurants that will never really adopt unified communications as they have three or four phones within that environment. There can be some retail locations, gas stations, things like that, that unified communications may not benefit them. However, when you start talking about mobile workers, such as real estate, car dealerships, things like that, where users have mobile applications uh, to connect back to their office, single number portability, the ability to dial out of a mobile device and push their caller ID from their specific organization. Those are things that are very important in the SMB world. Those trends also move into the enterprise. We're seeing the enterprise starting to adopt more remote workers. Therefore, unified communications is going to play a very important role in that area. We also know that the enterprise has a lot of mobile workers, uh, from sales folks to engineers, that require unified communications to be able to stay in touch with their peers and with their uh, supervisors. We're also seeing trends in unified communications in the hospitality area. Whereas we can eliminate multiple devices from housekeeping, walkie-talkies, things like that, by having the ability to adopt unified communications for housekeeping staff and maintenance staff to keep them connected to the administrators within uh, the, the hotel itself. Uh, we're also seeing that integration moving to the end user with the ability to start leveraging text messaging when rooms are ready and things of that nature that can all be incorporated into uh, a unified communication solution. Government will adopt unified communications uh, as they move to more remote workers. With the pressure on uh, state capitals and budgets for lease space, uh, with increased traffic uh, and uh, productivity limitations to users that have to drive in through that traffic to work, uh, we will see unified communications leveraged in the government world uh, to be able to enable those uh, remote workers. Again, so that supervisors can stay in touch with the worker at and as well as the worker can stay in touch with peers and their supervisors. Higher education is another area that I believe unified communications will be an impact. Uh, as we can connect uh, professors, grad students, uh, we will see applications being able to be adopted by uh, students. Uh, so now we can use that single device application to be able to call or text or message individuals. We can see this happening in K through 12. Uh, which gives the ability for uh, principals and vice principals to get out of their, away from their desk and actually be out walking the school uh, so that they can stay in contact with teachers and administrators. The real power of unified communications is the integration to multiple applications. That's why it's called unified communications. There are several advantages with NEC's software-based unified communications application. One is, all of the unified communications capabilities are built into a single server model. This saves our customers money by not having to buy multiple servers or have multiple virtual instances within their data center. Cuts down on management, cuts down on licensing, and makes it very beneficial from a total cost of ownership standpoint to our customers. In addition to that, since our software-based application runs on standard off-the-shelf servers, it is not appliance-based. Not being appliance-based with the software assurance in place gives our customers the ability to update their software at any time, as well as they don't have to worry about replacing CPUs, line cards, uh, all of those things that are related to hardware-based unified communication systems today.